gang members out though. It's your nigga, baby boy, we're doing back to channel got the video, man. Hello, gang members, man. Ah. Hello, man. I'm gonna waste time gonna get a jump straight to this video. Hopefully, I came up with a nice ass title for you guys to already know what the video means from when you click on the video. I don't know what I'm gonna call this video, but why don't I smoke like for a whole week and like save all my roaches in the same like ashtray and just see how many roaches I have at the end of the week and kind of roll it into a fat bag or see how many roaches like a fat bag we can feel I don't know like you know what I'm saying we just gonna we gonna oh wait let me actually set up an extra camera right here camera set that's looking good all right then so this is the bowl of roaches we have I'm sorry it might look disgusting for someone here if it does I'm <laughs> There's a whole bunch of backwards and grabbers that I smoke. I hardly smoke, and I smoke a lot of Dutch Masters too. Like, I don't smoke any other things. So, yeah, that's mostly what's gonna be. It's gonna be mostly leaves. And for the Dutchies, depends on how thick the Dutchies are. If they're thick enough, I'll put it in the blunt. If, if not, it's just gonna be leaves in this bitch. But yeah, let's go ahead and dump this bitch out. Let's see how much of it we can get. I'm trying not to, like, damn, that just like there's a whole nother layer down in this bitch. Let's see. Ooh, that looks nasty. Ugh, nasty. That's another back one. But hey, now that we got all this on here, I got a glove right here that I'm gonna use to pick them out. Cause uh, usually I do it with my hand, but you know, just for the sake of the video, so mm, niggas out here not talking about oh, internet. Mm, nah, niggas be talking about the internet. But we're gonna go ahead and throw this on and see how this shit be. Nah, I'm saying. Damn, my hand is so fat. I just can barely fit in my hand. Yeah, I'm doing the job though. Doing the job though. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna use my hand, bro. Fuck it. But hey, uh, what should I? I'm gonna put them in here. I'm gonna put all of them in here. After we separate them, we're gonna count how many we have, and yeah, we're gonna go from there. Let's see. Get tired of the blunt, you just drop that bitch and forget you have to drop that bitch there. Sometimes that bitch can be halfway through and you just you wake up the next day, roll another blunt, and boom. And this right here, I'm not gonna roll this because this is like really small. It's probably mostly ashes left in it. But let's see, let's see. Yeah, this shit stinks too. Like, the smell is weird. Don't sit right with me. They get so dried up, like and so hard that when you separate them, the shit just like it's basically nothing, but it's all like black shit in there. So I try. I'm not gonna be focusing on the uh, Dutch Master roaches. We're gonna be doing just the backwoods and gravel leaves. You know what I'm saying? But hey, let's go ahead and count how many we have in total. This is what we got right here. Hopefully, but yeah, this is all we have right here. Let's count how many that is. That is one, two, four. Uh, 6, 8, 10, 16, 18, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28! God damn, we got 28 blunts from the last week. That's deep. And that doesn't even add to like blunts that I smoked outside of the house. These are all only blunts that I smoked while I was filming or like sitting watching a movie or like editing. This is all the blunts from those times, you know what I'm saying? So it's probably be even more than that. That's, that's, I'm saying that shit like I should be proud of it. That was low-key bad. God damn, Benny. But anyway, hey, let's go ahead and jump straight to this rolling section. Hope you guys know how to roll a back. If you guys know how to roll a back, well, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video how to roll a proper back, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I got the one right here. We're gonna be using the honeyberry backwards, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna be turning 28 blunts into one 
Marvelous Backwood. Okay, you already you can see this here. It has a cheap right here. I'm not gonna be using that. I like to find the best backwood in the bag. I back, that, if the backwood's not good, I throw the whole pack, like the whole like stick away. That shit already has a break right there, too. That's not gonna be good. Uh it's a lot of stems on this bitch. But we can work around the stems. We can definitely work around the stems. Yeah, I mean that's why I buy the whole pack, man. Like because sometimes backwards just I don't get it, bro. It's just sometimes it's just too hard or it's just too soft where it just grips apart so easily. So you gotta be super careful with backwards. Uh so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and split our backwood, get to rolling this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Damn, this one got hella holes in it though. Y'all think we can work around the holes? Probably. Probably. What I like to do when I roll is I like to well, some people like to grind their weed first and like you know, put their weed together before they open their back. But I, I just like to like arrange my shit straight into the wrap. But these stems are looking thick as fuck. I think I'm gonna save these wraps for later when I'm just chilling by myself. Because I want this blunt to be like perfect, you know? I don't want no excuses. I don't want no reason for why the blunt had a tear in the middle or why we smoking the blunt halfway through. Oh no! Or why we smoking the blunt halfway through and uh, we cannot fucking finish smoking it. You know what I'm saying? We gonna, we're not gonna be doing that. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pop up another, a whole new pack. This camera better stay before I fight it. You know, where the jump shift? So this one, then, this one should be good. This should be better. Oh my god, I ripped that bitch up so bad. I'm sorry, guys. Don't mind me. I just want to make sure this shit's perfect for the video. If it was a regular day with me just chilling, I would just roll it like that since it's me just smoking it. And I guess I should be breaking between them. I'll just roll whatever is left in the block into another book. That's what I do. I don't, I don't like to stress about shit like that. But for videos, I like to make sure the blunt's perfect, man. So yeah, I know we got a good blunt right here. We're gonna go ahead and split that bitch up real quick. Like I said, sometimes they're too soft that it just easily tear apart, like this one. This one easily soft, boy. That's that's like little to no problem that you can easily fix. You just gotta be gentle with it, and you should be fine. And I'm and I'm gonna also rinse this one out. You guys can hey, like, People still ask me if I bore my back with. Sometimes I do, sometimes I just rinse it out with hot water and that shit does the job. One second. You rinse the front and the back, and when you do that, it just becomes so soft that you, you gonna see the way I wipe it up, and that shit barely has no effects on it. Like, one that's no effects in the sense that it doesn't even tear. I just put that shit right here like this on it, and I just put like a uh, napkin in the middle and roll it over, just roll it like that, and just, you know what I'm saying? That shit apparently takes off all the tobacco residues in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's really true. There's really no being no real research on it. But it brings out some yellow and brown shit like this that people like to see. So yeah, I guess we're smoking healthy in some way. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what this blunt gonna look like. Uh oh, mine is wet now. Chop. You already guys already know how I roll my back because I like to chop off the edges. People hate it. But hey, beautiful life. I, I just like to make my shit a little nice little square. Put it like this. Now let's go to this bronze. So this roaches. Start from this one right here. Just throw all these bitches in here. Uh, let's see. Okay, this one comes apart easily. I like to take up the like a little bit of the bottom because the black part where the like the ash was from before, I just use my hand to like scrape it off like that. And boom, throw it in there. That's one. And we just keep going like that for the rest of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just arrange the rest of them on top of each other. So it's like it's gonna be a pretty tough one on roll, but we're gonna make it work. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's let's see how I can do this. I'm gonna try to pull all like all of it at least in the blunt at first, and we're gonna see how we go from there. But yeah, this shit is already looking packed up. Yo, yeah, I can just easily place them on top of each other like that, and that should work. Okay.
pussy or anything. But like you guys can see how thick this shit has come out of me. How many do we have left? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got 12 left, so 28 minus 12, we still have about, or we only used about uh, 16 of them. So this is what 16 blunts will look like. <laughs> I thought we, were, we won't be able to put everything in there, but let's be honest, we use the last sales but it's not going to work. Like, I try, I'm trying to like, see if I can roll that bitch like this, but it's going to like, either break the backwood, and we don't want that. We just want a thick, nice, little, you know, thickly, thickly backwood. And I don't want to ruin the video by doing too much. So we're going to use 16 roaches to roll a nice little blunt. If you guys want to, like, do more, you can probably, like, try it and let me know in the comments if it works out. But for now, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to keep the sign in the other video saying it. Nah, but let's go ahead and jump straight to rolling this bitch. This is going to be a tough one, man. My hand is all, like, black and shit. But this is gonna be a nice run. I'm telling you, if you've never smoked a roach one before in your life, I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it's a different high. It's like a way better high. But damn, how do I do? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the edge. I'm gonna try pushing down. And you know they're all dried up, so the weed is not as soft as it's supposed to be. It's like jumbled up together. Like, you know, it's like a big ass thing together. But well, I'm trying to like push him down. Like to make it work and hopefully the, the, the back was gonna tear man because them bitches they, 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 I don't think they can withstand that much pressure let's see fuck this is already even pouring out that's why I don't want to happen I'm gonna go ahead and lick up this little first part just so I can hold it together I wish I had more cameras so I can like have a different camera at a different angle every time so you guys can see everything that I'm doing on. But this shit, ooh, this is about to be a good one. It's about to be a good one. Fuck. Yeah. I could have probably even fit more, like two more roaches in this bitch now that I think about it. Because it's looking nicely. But well, another important part is like you don't want to make your blunt too tight because if you make your blunt too tight, it will not smoke. Like you know, you want to put it to it to in a way where there's there's enough like space for air to go through so that the smoke can come through to your like mouth. That's literally how smoking works. So you gotta make sure it's not too tight. A trick to like making your blunt not like uh, your weed not part of your blunt. After you don't roll it, try to like push the edges together like this. Like just you know push it together. It doesn't hold it like tight, but we just keep that part like a little close so the blunt is not like falling out a lot. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's for the front. Yeah, at the top, the top is looking pretty good. Yeah, there's enough air through that bitch. Actually, let's kill this bitch out. Let's see how much you see weighing grams. That would be a good one. Let's <laughs> Let me see how much you see weighing grams real quick. Ooh. Tar that bitch. Let me get the camera right here. Tie the fuck out of that bitch. Let's see. 4.4 backward. 4.4 grams. That's not bad. A little over an eighth. That's not bad. We smoke eight blunts every day around here. That's 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 not that's not a bad thing. Now I'm saying 4.4. Okay, okay, we can definitely make this work. So what do I do with the rest of these roaches? I'm gonna save them and I don't know. You guys let me know what to do with them. Maybe smoking them out of a bong. I hate bongs by the way. Oh my god, I hate smoking out of a bong. But hey, hope you guys enjoy this shit though. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys want to comment and tell us some more videos to check out, let's go ahead and spark this up first of all before we end the video just to make sure this shit actually smokes. Let's, let's make sure.
But if you want to see me smoke the rest of it, I'm going to do a couple reaction videos after probably one or two. You guys go watch those videos and uh, we'll see how, how, how the thick ass backwood, this thick ass roach backwood smokes. I push the edges too tight, like I created whole holes in my fingers. On earth. Remember when I told you that that shit is always like back, uh, roach blunts are always bitter? Oh, this is like bitter. <laughs> oh my god. Nah, I'm gonna try to light that bitch. Because the, the, the smoke from the, the smell from the lighter and the roaches do not go well together. I'm gonna light that bitch and try to smoke it. Ooh, that was very bitter. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, that shit's smoking nice. Ooh, I like it. Oh, it actually is smoking good. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, when you take away the light, like, it actually smokes good. I, I think it's just the initial burn. Yeah, that shit smokes good. You see, it's not like brown smoke or nothing. Like, some clear white smoke. That shit is smoking good. Now, you she might be smoking straight exotic, so it's a whole bunch of like exotics in this. It's kind of, I like to smoke like packaged weed and shit. Holy fuck. That one is, that shit's smoking. Please, please, please go in the comments. Tell me some more smoke videos you guys want me to do, or some more ideas you want me to try. That you can't probably do in your house, but you want someone to, to look stupid on the internet doing it. I do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like trying shit like this, like all that honey and shit. But hey, mm. teespring.com back to the name again. Cup yourself a merch, join the family, subscribe, like, share the video, you know what I'm saying? But I'll see you beautiful motherfuckers in the next video, okay? Okay? Oh! I drink too much, eh? I think I drink too much, eh? I think I drink too much. Will you roll me a blunt so I can't cool off? Eh?